Hello? Nah, no, man, I got no time right now. I'm at GC Mansion. Yeah, I'll get at you later, man. I'm Sean from Shop G Sky, and we're gonna shop today. What up, my brother? Yo, what we got going on today? Welcome. Let's go shop. Let's get it, man. Shit, we at the palace. Some things never change, huh? Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. Man, yeah, I'm excited to talk chrome hearts with you. I know you know a lot about that shit, man. Uh-huh. Way too much. <sighs> know a lot about these black tees, too. <laughs> oh, the plain ones? That's yes, the move? Sir. Yes, sir. Mmm, free game. Hats, these are crazy right here. Chrome on chrome. Yeah, these are fire. The red and the blue. Yeah, with the leather crosses on them. Sheesh. This Louis bag right here, man. A lot of people don't know it's a big sleeper. He says from 08. 08, Takashi Murakami with Louis Vuitton. Was it better than one bag? Double up. Two. Yup. <laughs> this shit crazy. I just gotta show the people. Hennessy bottles busting. You know my boy stay with that shit, man. That gold limited edition. <sighs> Futura. Do this, man. Dorwan. What's he from, man? It's, uh, it's Takashi's. Oh, for real? Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and take one of these down because I'd love to talk about this motherfucker right here. These is like some fancy, fancy joints. Yes, sir. Those was a personal pair. Yeah? Uh-huh. Crazy. A little tight on the foot. Designer shoes hurt like a bitch. Always, huh? Uh-huh. It does not matter. What's like the most comfortable designer shoes you had, though? Luxury designer? I think my Balenciaga runners. Okay. But if we talk the, to sneakers... Like the sock ones? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. If we talking like streetwear sneakers, right. I'd go with the Yeezys. Okay. All day. Facts. Funny story on this one. Um, I personally bought this toiletry bag back in like 2011, 2012 mm -hmm. uh, at the Louis Vuitton Rodeo. My boy Alex, shout out to Alex, he bought it and himself added loops chain strap on it right like and wear it like a crossbody oh right right and this was when virgil was creative director at louis uh -huh. and he started putting the chains the orange chains hanging off the uh -huh. the louis pieces so this is this is to be worn as a crossbody that's large but it's really like a toiletry bag it's a toiletry bag we converted bag. into uh crossbody yeah right. what are you selling something like that for um this one this one's priced at $700. 700 Yeah. That's hard. Yeah. Camo. Two differences. So, right, right. This is so. that Damier, mm -hmm. Graffiti, and then you got the classic monogram, but with the camo, which is called monogramouflage. Mm. And of course, all that chrome hearts, you know what I'm saying, always stick out. Yeah, you already know. This is definitely a big piece, like... The off-white and the chrome hearts is fucking crazy together. I like the orange too. Like, yeah, this one's wild. I mean, R.I.P. Virgil. Right. Um, obviously, at this point, this is a piece of history. Right. Because For real. Chrome Hearts does not really collaborate with anybody. Uh -huh. They did this drop in 2018 uh, around Art Basel in Miami. Mm. Um, they then did a line of t-shirts for every city location right. with, uh, with this logo mm. on the back, but it said the city from the drop. So LA had it, New York had it, Tokyo. They did some trucker hats as well, possibly jeans, maybe mm. one of one. Mm. Designed That's by Virgil hard. and Richard Stark, who is the owner of Chrome Hearts. Wow. I feel like, I mean, this, this is an iconic rug, right? You got your Persian, Persian vibes, uh, but a little bit of, you know, text on it gives a kind of modern feel to it, right? Totally. And a play on words. I mean, keep off, you know, on the rug. Right. <laughs> and what does something like this retail for? Or what are you selling? Shit, I, I think, know you're selling one, right? Like, I, yeah, um, this is my personal. I got another one. I think retail on this was about 
six, seven hundred dollars. You can buy one of these brand new on StockX for about thirty five hundred with tax. I think now, uh, so it really, it really went up in price. Mm -hmm. I think it's an investment piece personally. I love just Supreme Classic Streetwear shit. Yeah, this one's a fire one, released back in the 2000s. Mob Deep is rocking this. Mm -hmm. There was also a jersey that came out, a baseball jersey that San Hennessy, I'm pretty sure, which yeah. they also wore too. So this is a real iconic piece. Something like this uh, resells upwards of like $1,000, maybe even more right. used. Right, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Supreme is one of those companies that the resale is like nuts. Right? It's insane. But yeah, man, I, I think I got my shit. I feel like I checked it out. This shit crazy. Got it's it insane. at G Skies. Shit, you already got know. Got it at G Skies, my <laughs> brother. Let's go downstairs and then chop it up. I want to show you a couple things I brought too. Let's do it. Let's get it. Gang, okay. my brother. Sean from Shop G Sky. I'm here with my boy Posky from Underground. He just shopped, picked out a few pieces. I know you brought some stuff with you as well, so let's talk about it. Man, I had to bring something first and foremost that was just like nostalgic for our relationship and friendship. I mean, how long have we known each other now? Like almost 10 years. I think we're like. coming up on 10 years. And I was doing a release party for um, an album called Dynamic, uh -huh. way back in the day. You was styling me then, you put yeah, me in a fly ass shirt. That I wasn't red. even in town. Right, but you laced me I was me out up. in Europe, and yeah, I styled you for that show. I gave you the Gucci top. Uh, Shit, was that, fire. That's the Tom Ford era, when Tom Ford was creative director at Gucci. That's a very iconic uh, time for them. And then the Giuseppes. And then the Giuseppes, exactly. And so that's just so nostalgic. They are my only designer shoe I have right now, technically. Um, you know, I got Yeezys, though, whatever, but real designer shit, like, I just definitely value this. I love the suede, the leather. The zippers at first to me was kind of like a little out there, but for whatever reason, these really like just stuck out. You know what I got on my head right here, and I had to bring a freshie, was, you know, the underground motherfucking snap. Yes, sir, you already know I got mine too. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Like this, like hats are new for me. Before this year, I wasn't even wearing hats. Uh -huh. But you know, I actually designed this myself. So just throwing the underground, the classic underground logo that Andrew and our boy Max designed. Um, but then throwing the established in 2019 and that gold on the side. Mm -hmm. And that kind of went with our uh, rolling papers that we did and our t-shirt and the actual magazine cover it was this whole like black and yellow and red, uh, orange kind of theme. So I wanted like the clothing to just tie in with it all. Like one of my just, Every days kind of thing, you know? <laughs> Lastly, for me, I take it off, this Gucci watch. This was actually a gift from my mom's. It's got the G on the inside all around and just super, super clean. For sure, um, it's Gucci, it's timeless. Exactly. It and lasts like you forever, right? as long as you take good care of it. And it's clean, it looks very simple and nice. So, you know, of course, I aspire to grab that Rolly, aspire to grab all them things, but yes, for now, this is my day to day. How does fashion, play a part in your life as an artist, as a rapper? It definitely plays a huge part. You know, it's almost like hand in hand because as an artist, I know Rico here, he in the back, like in college, they'd be out at events all the time. We'd be out at events all the time. It's like, you gotta be fly and have a different fit than you just had for the other one. Cause you take you can't photos, get caught back in. You gotta be on top of it. And it's like a big part of it. Cause you know, as an artist, you should be out there networking, getting that content. In order to do that, you need to like look fresh and original all the time. Yeah, so. you never know when someone's taking a picture of you, right? You never know when you're gonna run into someone or see someone, and it's like it's part of your image, right? You don't want to be caught like out looking all bummy and you know. We might be going to the studio. I might just think it's a casual day, and then happen to me. It happens to us all. That's why I don't think people realize like the value that you bring to like artists, like especially with like the styling services and stuff that we discuss that you can do. Like it's a whole different ballgame, right? Because you can. Uh, have money and be able to buy clothes, but do you know what you know? What are the right clothes that you need? What looks good on you? Someone like me coming in, I, I do more than just sell clothes. Like I really try to help people's brand and image look better by what they wear. And if they're looking for some specific, right? I mean, you've always been that guy. Yeah. It's like you need this, I'm gonna find it for you. Like definitely, um, I love to source items. I mean, if I don't have it in hand, I can get it for you. Yeah. And you know, I will do my hardest to find it for you. I appreciate you having me. Definitely, you thank you for coming by. It. Again, I'm Sean from Shop G Sky. We got Posky here from Underground, and we outie. My brother.
Appreciate you, Dan. Anytime. Yeah. Thank you.